What's up mga crazy men? I'm back! And today, we're gonna be reacting to my thesis defense. Let's go! Hey guys, I'm back and today I'll be sharing with you one of my greatest achievements in college, my undergraduate thesis. To give you guys a quick background lang, ever since the start of thesis, I had one goal, which was to get an UNO or an Outstanding Thesis Award. The reason why is because Alam kong di ako graduate ng cum laude. So, gusto ko naman at least makauno ako sa thesis ko. Ever since the start, ginawa ko yun na sa goal and every time na nahihirapan ako, I just remember that this is what I want. I chose an airport. I really wanted an airport kasi if you guys didn't know, my childhood dream was to become a pilot. But then, I grew up and then I fell in love with architecture. Nax! Wow! May gano. Anyway, my thesis is the Philippine Sangli International Airport. At nung sinabi ko sa mga tao na yung thesis ko was an airport, all of them were like, Airport? Gas gas na yan! Gas gas na yan! But you know, that didn't affect me. Like, I knew I had a plan for this. I had something big. And it paid off naman. So yeah, we'll be reacting to my thesis defense together. Like, hindi ko pa ito napapanood. Thank you, Carlson, for being able to document this. A few months ago ko lang ito nakuha. Like, more than a year after my defense. It's time to react to my thesis defense. Let's go! Okay, let's go. Let's start. Let's press play. Okay, so as you can see, at the start of my defense, may pakulo ka agad ako. So since airport yung thesis ko, I had mga flight stewardess. So as you saw, yung naka maroon hat, that was Kat. And then the other two were Gianna and Patty. So yeah, shout out to you guys. Let's go. May, may pinapamigay si Kat sa jewelry ko. So another um, treat na ginawa ko was I made, um, I made a boarding pass for my, for my jewelry. Can you see it? There. I made um, a boarding pass. As you can see it, it says business class boarding pass from UST to Philippines Hanoi International Airport. The Shepherd business class for sala. Kasi important sala, diba? Let's go. Time. What is our definition of time? Is it something that we deal with every day? Or is it something that is a way for us to measure a certain period in our life? Or simply something everyone thinks they understand? It's a deep question with no simple answer. Together, let's continue to fight that. Okay, so another quick point. For me, kasi, a good intro goes a long way. Like, intro pa lang, kailangan. May, may sinasabi ka na. Tama. Dapat, sa intro mo pa lang, mahuhok na dapat yung audience mo. So, yeah, I really thought about my intro that time. Let's get straight to the point. Why do we need a new airport? The IA, the country's main international name, is wrapped. The 44th busiest airport in the world. 44 out of 43,980. Let's do the math. That means we're in the top 0.001% of the busiest airports in the world. Let that sink in. 0.001%. And yet, first off, with this, 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 and this. Okay, so yung point zero zero one, I recomputed it. I think it's point zero one ng dapat. <laughs> Oops. But anyway, you get the point. We're still one of the worst airports ever. But yeah, always start with the problem, the main problem, and then continue on. The goal of the project is simple. The goal of the project is to have a new Philippine international gateway that will be able to accommodate future air traffic represent Filipino architecture and innovate the modern airports. Guided by Charles Eames, who once said, the details are not the details, they make the design. With this, I came up with my concept, and with the following objectives and the philosophy, I came up with my concept, local, redefining Filipino time. Global stands for global standards in the local context, which envisions the airport of becoming a globally competitive gateway that adheres to different international standards and be able to translate it in the local scene through Filipino architecture. Filipino type. Now, Filipino type is a norm commonly associated with a bad habit of communicating, actually 
this figure since the Spanish colonial era. Uh, when it comes to air travel, it's actually the opposite. Bakit ang mga Pilipino pumupunta ng airport na sobrang hanggang? Traffic daw kasi kumiti traffic. Okay, so to wrap this whole part up, relate your project objectives to your design objectives and then go shape your design philosophy and then concept. I know ang dami nating oras tinuod para dito pero you just have to summarize everything. And always remember na bullet points only. Don't put essays on your PowerPoint. Ito PowerPoint guide lang yan sa sinasabi mo dapat. So I just wanted to talk about quickly my concept uh, Glocal Redefining Fili Filipino Time. Paano ko ba nakuha yung concept na yun? So basically, yung global, global standards in the local context, nakakatawa dito is, I got that from a movie. Like, nag-research ako ng thesis and then pagod na ako, sabi ko, so magpahinga. And then, in On King TV, HBO, I think it was a movie with George Clooney and Anna Kendrick ata. Sinabi nila yung line na to and it stuck with me. So that's how I found that concept of global. And then for fil redefining Filipino time, remember when you're trying to define something, kailangan alam mo yung definition of ni redefine mo. So I really dug deep into the definition, the history of Filipino time, so that when they asked me, we'll see that further down the road. Ano bang Filipino time? Ano bang Filipino architecture? I was able to answer it, naman. So let's talk about design. Design is located at Sami Point Community. Design is 142. For us to have an international airport in Sandwich Point, we need to reclaim 2,400 hectares worth of land. You see, we are an archipelago. We don't, um, we don't have much land. So I, I want to present you a new way of an airport. The circular runway. The circular runway would only need to reclaim 888 hectares. Again, 888 hectares compared to 2,400 hectares. That's 63 percent less from the original one. So, what is this circular runway I'm talking about? Just to give you a brief, and the circular runway would also serve four uh, would be equivalent to four parallel runways. The runway would be segmented into 18 parts, and should be back quote by segment. And then inside, we will have a 1,600 meter. Uh, for the inside of the runway. Okay, so yung malaking pakulo ko sa thesis ko was the circular runway. So you really have to transition in how you will present the highlight of your thesis. So yung sa akin kasi, the biggest factor was the circular runway. So pinasok ko siya kagad sa site. This circular runway was really an in-depth study bago ko siya nag-propose. As I was researching, I came across this. Actually, I saw it from a video. And then sabi ko, wow, that's interesting. Kaya ko kaya ito i-propose. Nahanap ko yung gumawa ng circular runway, Aerospace Center of the Netherlands. And then, ginawa ko, since they're in Netherlands, in-email ko sila, like asking them questions about it, and if I could ask them all the time regarding my thesis. Parang ang taga nilang di nag-reply. I think a week after or two, may nag-reply. And yung nag-reply was Engineer Hank Kesselink who was actually the guy who proposed this runway. So from then on, ever since I got that email, talagang lalo ako nabuhayan i-push through tong pinopropose ko. It's crazy because I was able to get their study, mga ganyang kakapal, binasa ko lahat. Yun nga, parang we email each other back and forth, and then knowing that I have their blessing to use this for my thesis was such a big deal for me. And yeah, I am glad that I had that moving forward. Because that really, that solidified my thesis even more. So, ang daming tao dun nung defense ko. This was on the first day. And gabi, na, gabi ako nag-defend, like around 7pm. Yun yung schedule ko. At sobrang init sa room. As you, as, kung makikita nyo moving forward, lagi ako nagpupunas ang pawis ko. Tapos, hindi ko talaga makakalimutan. Sobrang kate ng ilong ko for some reason. Kaya lagi ako gumaganon, like, slowly. Ayaw ko lang yung pakita sa jury ko. But anyway, let's move forward. So again, as I said, having a well-connected airport, this is our runway. Our outer taxiway, inner taxiway, apron, where the, where the, where the um, aircrafts are parked. And okay, so the yung boarding din yung nakikita, that was my site development plan. So basically, iniikot ko sila, iniikot ko yung jury ko sa site dev ko para makita nila kung paano may inflow ng tao. And then also, on the other side, what I did is I showed already one of my main perspectives, the interior, the, sorry, the the bird's eye perspective kasi para they have an idea of what it's gonna look like. Hindi yung they're gonna be guessing until sa dulo kung ano yung may ng project ko. Okay, another thing lang is 
some people kasi what they do is um, they just show their perspectives. This is my this, this is my that. So for me, it's important that you explain to them what's happening in your perspective. So alam na nilang may perspective ka, pero anong meron doon? Our You see? Okay, so at this point, napansin na ni Carson yung, yung plans ko. Actually kasi, sobrang, so sobrang lang yung airport ko and sa scale na kailangan. I had to combine two, thir- I think two 30 by 40 boards. So that, so parang naging 30 by 80 yata yung boards ko. Sobrang dami kong boards. I think umabot ako ng 50 boards or something. Hindi ko na maalala. To be honest, ang laki na nag ko sa board. Sobra. But worth it in the end. Always remember, for me talaga, presentation is key. If you have a good design, but you can't present it, sayang lang din. It doesn't have to be the answer boards or sa PowerPoint, but those things help. For me, the most important thing is you know how to talk about your design. So now, let's talk about the plans. Just a quick piece to it. An airport is normally uh, thought of as something horizontal. Mahaba ang airport, malaki ang airport. Pero sa totoo lang, an airport can be divided vertically I don't know if you saw that, pero sa likod ng board ko, meron na kong label, may 5L. So that means fifth board on the left. So important then na may label yung board mo para continuous yung flow ng ng presentation mo. So I asked Neil and Yok, syempre, to help me with my boards. As in nagrehearse pa kami ng onte. So thank you guys talaga. As in honestly, I couldn't have done it without my friends. Sobrang patient nila na Kahit hindi pa sila nagde-defense, tinulungan pa rin nila ako. For me, you have to pay it forward. So after I finished, I helped them. Uh, ako rin na ng boards nila. Tumulong kami. So it's really, you know, being there for your friend. Okay, so just to give you guys a quick preview, I won't go through all the plans with you. Kasi tagal yan. So just to share with you guys, what I did is, for, sa boards ko, andun yung floor plan ko na. Floor plan. And then what I did, again, as a as a supporting aid lang in my powerpoint kinolor code ko yung spaces para mas madali nila magets kung ano yung space na tinutukoy ko and para ma-differentiate din yung different spaces na pinapakita ko 3rd floor, 7th floor, 1st floor, and basement floor okay as you can see sobrang basic nung diagrams ko kasi sobrang flat niya but again it's all about the idea walang Walang kwenta yung diagram mo kung sobrang ganda niya pero wala naman siyang tinatry sabihin. So the, the point of having a diagram is for your audience to visualize it better. So for this one, I just made a diagram of the emergency evacuation flow especially because airport ako and that's like a big issue with airports in the case of emergencies. When I was designing, when I was designing uh, my airport, I wanted to think of time as a linear concept. And when you think of that, it's from past to present, Past, present, present, future days are full of good and bad memories. The events. So that's why I'm talking about the The timeline of the Philippine showed the country's strengths and weaknesses. It's not time to the time. It's not time to the time. So, as you saw, I'm going to go. Time as a linear concept. Yeah, yeah. Minsan talaga, you really have to dig deep and just, you know, think of something. If you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. Why do they look like? You see, the road is back 30 meters high. So, on the last side, I want them to get a glimpse of what... Oh, si, yung head jury ko, si Architect Aguilar. Like, oh, di ba? And we have our departure space here, at the top, our angle at the, at the second floor, and then electrical officers, and the other ground floor. Sabi, sabi ko sa inyo eh, yung punas ko ng pawis Yan o, kitang kita yun, nakapause kaya na Kating-kati talaga yung ilong ko talaga for some reason So, we give you a quick view of the, what our airport would look like Okay, so, yung time na yun, nagpaulan na ako ng perspectives Doon ko na pinakita yung design that I intended So, this is the view from the curbside And from, from the access, sorry, from the airport access
temporary approach to vernacular materials. So, never the copy. We have one. We have. Sobrang proud ko dun sa, kon, sa focus na yun na contemporary approach to vernacular materials. Ang sarap sabihin. Contemporary approach to vernacular materials. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Now, you are arriving. This is the view of the final. One line on the This is the view from the taxiway. This is the view from the hammer. So when you, when you arrive, this will be the luggage clean area. So again, you go through the falls, and put yourself in the falls, and then post area. So again, this is the Philippine San International Airport. So you can see the land center below here. So to give you a, this is how the airport will look like. Okay, so this walkthrough displayed in my previous vlog. If you saw it, nasa background lang siya. So the story behind this um, walkthrough, ginawa ko siya the day of my defense. Guys, ganun ka clutch. As in, like, sobrang last minute niya talaga. And buti na lang nahabol ko siya. Buti na lang, gabi ako. So, kung hindi ako gabi, ayun naman siguro, pero grabe. Buti na nahabol ko to. Like, it's such a big, laking thing na nahabol ko yung walkthrough. Making people faces beyond where they are to make opportunities. And when we can make that journey worthwhile, that is architecture. Together, we are redefined to the time. Thank you. <laughs> Grabe. From here, it says here like around 20 minutes or more. Yung defense ko. And, like, this sobrang lala ng defense ko. Like, sobrang kinakabahan ako, pero kinain ko na lang yung kaba ko. And, that conclusion, nakakatawa talaga. All of this just come in the most random moments. So, nung the nagthesis camp kami dito, sa bahay, um, may isang time, nagchitchill lang kami, and then nag-uusap kami ni Kat. Kasi si Kat transport din. Tapos parang, we were just talking, spitballing, we ended up saying these words. So, I used that as my conclusion. Parang, in, in, at the end of my defense, I just really wanted to say na, you know, na-achieve natin yung gusto ko ma-achieve sa project na to. And I hope that you saw that also. The presentation is done. It's now time for the Q&A, which was, my God. The worst. But let's save that for the next vlog. All right, all right. Bitin ba kayo? So that's like half of my defense palang. So the other half, let's save that for my next vlog. All right. So thank you so much for watching this episode of my vlog. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember, it's always better to see something once than hear about it a thousand times. Peace.